Sometimes I feel like when you're building in The Sims, you kind of get stuck in your ways and kind of build the same house over and over and over again without realizing it. We're gonna change that today. I'm gonna be building a house and every single room, including the outside of the build, is going to include every single color. And I'm also building in Henford on Bagley. How stunning is this world? It's so cute. It's like my dream little village. It's gonna be quite a small build today. That might help actually. I always tend to go for small smaller build. It's just what I'm used to. I should probably some point build a mansion on here, but I just, I don't know. Does anyone build mansions really? I always stick to like smaller builds. I just think they're so cute and cozy. So this is the shell we're going for. I do want to keep it in the same sort of style as like Henford and Bagley. And that's the thing I think with older houses, a lot of them do have like curved roofing and they're really high as well. So I might just curve this one a little bit like that. Uh, maybe this one as well. Okay, that's looking cute. And then I think I'm not going to raise it on the platform because everything's kind of just placed on the gravel but maybe we could add like a little garden so for the dark brown i'm gonna go for these fencing here i think most of the items are gonna be from henford and bagley to be honest and i think henford and bagley is quite like a happy nice place so i don't think i'm gonna completely close off the garden and then i think i'm gonna go for a yellow brick on the outside i say this and i'm not too sure this one from bowling pack is pretty though so it could work or we could do a mix of color so maybe we could have like this nice yellow color here. Maybe we could go for like a nice pink door. Oh, I really like this one. This is from the new pack. No, it's not from the new pack. I really like this one. This is really pretty. Or do we go for a double door? Ooh, this one's really fancy. Maybe we could go for like some blue windows. Oh, my candle died. I'll have to buy a new one. The green, we have a lot of options, obviously. So I'm going to go for these planters. And of course, it's not building in Hemford on Bagley without adding wisteria everywhere. I don't make the rules. Oh, and this plant has so many different colors. That's perfect. Okay, so far I am in love with this build. I I love these roof details. They're so pretty. I think I've basically got every single color so far, but I definitely want to go in and add so many more flowers. If you have never built with wisteria on the outside, you will not know how annoying it is. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go inside and I'll come back and I can cover the whole thing with wisteria. And these hanging baskets as well. It's just, it's one of those little things that it's very annoying when you're building. So you're going to walk and we've got these really nice staircases. We're not going to talk about upstairs because I need to deal with the roofing. So I'm going to look at that later. Downstairs, we're going to have a bathroom over here a living room and the kitchen and dining room and then in this corner over here I kind of wanted to add like some little gardening bits and then obviously I need to go outside and finish the garden off so I'm pretty much already covered with the blue and the light brown so it's basically just shoving in a load of color which I kind of love and I do want a fireplace in every room is that excessive maybe maybe we can have like this little one here just to keep the room warm I mean even these fireplaces come in some really nice colors as well look at the detail on that it's so pretty. In my head, I can imagine like an older woman living here. So I want to give her all the hobbies. I want her to be a gardener, a knitter, a sewer. Everything she wants to be, she can be. And even like items like this are great. This one from Cats and Dogs because it's got like all little different colors in. And then you can even just go ahead and add some more colorful things in here. Not this light though, because it won't fit. Does anything fit in here? Can you not put anything in there? Oh, well, ignore everything I just said then. That's annoying. Oh, and I want to give her a cat. Yes, absolutely. And maybe all of the doors could be a different color. So we've got a blue one going outside there maybe red i feel like red is going to be the issue of this house because it doesn't really go with anything else but we do need a red door so we could go for that one maybe this one could be the light brown and then for the bathroom i'm not going to get one with windows in so maybe we can go for this green one here i don't know if it was just my grant but she would have loads of items like this just place to put things like all of this as well but i love this yellow i know this lamp here is supposed to be like for a kid's room but the flowers just reminds me of like a grand and they always had so so many photos on the wall. Do you know what? I actually didn't realize how easy it would be to just add every single color for it to work. Oh, the little cat rug is so cute. This is such a pretty little hallway. And then down here, I think I might make like a little place for the cat. And then in this corner, I want her gardening stuff to go. This is so cute, so colorful. I love it. I'm pretty sure I have every color, but I'm gonna double check in a second. But over here, I've given her like a little gardening section. She's got little aprons, her little tools. 
I mean, basically this cat kind of has its own personal little fireplace and I don't hate that. I love that. We've got purple, black, pink, blue, yellow, green. I think we've basically got every single color in here. Uh, let's go in here and this is going to be the kitchen and dining room. I can have the kitchen going wrong this wall here and we have got the country pack counters and I'm just trying to figure out what swatch I want to go for because they've got so many lovely ones and this is such a fun oven. I love it so much. I've got all the pretty colours. Ooh, purple's cute and we have a matching fridge. Nope, this one's the matching fridge. I've never used this end piece for the counters before but look how pretty it is. I've actually made a massive kitchen but I kind of really like it and we have got enough room for like a little island in the middle. I feel like I'm moving this this item room to room. We'll try it in the living room for now. And now we've got the space. Put the dining table against the wall. The wall my gran had would have like an extendable bit on the end so you could make it bigger when more people came over. Maybe we can have different colored chairs. Oh, that's pretty. And maybe in this bit here, we could have another cat item. Maybe we could have another cat tree. Maybe we could give the cat these red bowls. We could put in an even bigger cat tree. Maybe in this green. One thing that annoys me is like when you get the this little toy box as soon as you put it down the toys inside disappear so i'll just go back and add these into it and that's got the orange in we've got a lot of blue purples pinks and whites going on so maybe we can fill up here with some clutter oh this black kettle there'd definitely be a tea set somewhere 100 percent board games as well my gran always had board games everywhere okay love it this is so cute i love all the different colored chairs basically the cat's house and the cat lets the gran lives here that that's what it is might as well make a cat bed bedroom to be honest. Let's go do the bathroom and it's quite narrow. I think I'm gonna do a bath in here. Oh and there's a pretty pink one. Oh I definitely need to change the flooring. We are not having a wooden bathroom. No no no. Oh these tiles are pretty. Toilet can squeeze it there. We've got an orange toilet, a blue handle for the toilet roll, a green door, a pink bath. I need a sink. Um, but I don't know if I'm pushing it with the room. Oh no, we've got plenty of room, that's fine. A yellow sink with brown doors, okay. Maybe a black mirror. And I'm gonna include this photo because it's got so many different colors on. I swear just that photo has every single color in. And this room over here is going to be the living room and this has followed me here again. We've got red, yellow, brown, black, all in fireplace, so that's handy. And I want a nice cozy sofa. Maybe this one for the book nut kit could suit this house. A blue red rocking chair can go there and then we need some curtains i was thinking these high school years ones actually we've got a red door as well and i think over here i'll add a little cat bed again maybe just a little one in the corner this time though and we'll have that in purple i kind of want to fit a piano in the corner I'm not sure if it'll fit though oh perfect oh that cherry blossom is so pretty and then i'm gonna add one of these dresses in again i feel like they're just in every older people's home so it's perfect for this build and we definitely need some more plants in here. Got every color except for orange. Maybe there's like a nice orange poster I can put on the wall. Oh, we have got these little wreaths. They're cute. See, sometimes I don't understand why the Sims class things was like a certain color when they're clearly not. Like this is classed as orange. It's got like a little orange stripe at the bottom, but then this is classed as orange because it's got like the tiniest bit in. So I don't really know who decides these things. But now I really do want a little wreath on. That's so cute. Oh, we can have some of these. And a little cat one. Oh, I am adding this sheep rug in. How how cute. Now we have got every single color in here. It's so nice. I love it. Downstairs is done. We've got two bedrooms upstairs and a glitchy roof to deal with. <sighs> For now, you can just get out my house, please. And thank you. And I'll deal with you later. So we're going to have two bedrooms upstairs and they both can have blue doors. They're both going to be like rainbow rooms. Maybe for this one over here, this could be like her granddaughter that comes to visit her. And her grandma literally just went, go wild, do what you want. Maybe a blue floor and a strawberry walls. Colorful bed. And I have two colorful side tables. I feel like for this one, I'm not even going to check if I've got every color because I just know that naturally I'm going to put every color in here. Maybe she could be an artist as well. So we could give some of these paintings. Oh my God, these are so nice. And these easels come in fun colors as well. Like this really pretty blue one. This cardboard actually classes as a dance floor, but I love putting it under the easel. And then maybe on this side, we could give her a desk, a wardrobe, maybe some more painting things. 
things. We could have this storage rack in the corner. Some actually really pretty pictures in there. Oh, look at that cherry blossom. That's so pretty. Maybe she painted the piano. Every single color is in this room and I absolutely love it. It's so nice and pretty. I'm loving decorating in all this color. And then this bedroom over here is going to be the grand bedroom. Now we still need every color, but I think I'm going to go more towards the Hemford and Bagley side again. But to be fair, that's got some really pretty items like this. Oh my God, stunning. And we've got red and green in it and orange. Maybe we can give the ground this bed in yellow. She can have two pink side tables. Oh, she can have this really pretty picture. Her granddaughter probably painted it as well. We definitely need some plants in here. Maybe we could go for these white curtains. All these classes orange. So maybe we could add like this little guy here, but we need like a dresser and things first. And none of these oranges are pretty. What about this in the light brown? Does this mirror come in any of the colors? I don't really know if I like it in orange. Maybe the white. And maybe we'll have an orange plant in here. There we go. Perfect. We also need something red in here. I feel like the red and orange are really hard to mix with the other colors. That is not red. That is purple to me. But maybe we can keep it little items like that for red and orange. Ah. And then we basically have got every other colour in here. So I can kind of add what I want. I'm basically adding all the nifty knitting bits in here and every single colour is on every item. So that's great. Okay, this bedroom turned out so cute. And I also added a little fireplace and two chairs for the grand and granddaughter to sit on. Guess I better sort this roofing situation out. I don't know what is wrong with it. I mean, it's still playable, so that's fine. So this is a lot of colour and I absolutely love it. I feel like I have been building similar styles recently. So this video was so much fun to incorporate every single color in. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one soon.